Ben, so um, one of the most uh, popular instructors of this convention so far is the wonderful Nicole Gregg Plus she was from available. Adelaide. Uh, yeah, she was available and um, cheap. So, sorry, free. Because I'm watching her in the, the green room here. Because donated the time for free. <laughs> so what we're going to do She's is... double time I'm going to put on this picture behind Aww. us like that. Here we go. The wonderful Here's Nicole. Nicole. Um, uh, she does a lot of things with quick links. We've been trying to get it to ca um, take on a, a, a catchphrase that we think is pretty good. We she's think just it's... not. She's just holding back. She's reserved. I don't understand don't it. Know. But we think it's quicker with the link. And we think it's something that she might want to um, stick with just, as well. Just, just to you know, be a little bit more open-minded. Just to think, you know what? Actually, those guys have got an idea there. And, and it, uh, you know... It is indeed. Just a thought. Quicker with the link. So, um, please, uh, once again, this is her second class for the Q Corner Convention. So, and everybody loved the last one. So, please... Yes. Give another huge Q Corner welcome to the one and only, our wonderful friend, Nicole Gregg. Here we go. Hello, Nicole. Hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good yeah, afternoon, good night. Audio. Yeah, don't take our catchphrase. Ooh. We've already given you one catchphrase, remember. Oh. You try try the one that we're trying to get, give over to you, yeah? The oh, quicker yeah. with the link one, all right? We'll keep our own. Okay, I'm a, I'm a slow learner. I'm a slow learner. I haven't got the audio, and once again... Okay, all right. <laughs> technical gremlins. Are you ready, Nicole? Thank you very much for taking this slot. We really appreciate it. We do. No, we really do. appreciate you having me again. So, absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we. Uh, and I'll definitely take that catchphrase on board. <laughs> I think you should. It's a bit catchy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sit back um, and you guys are going to spend some wonderful time. On, it's, a, it's a shorter session, it's a one hour session where you're going to have some wonderful it's time. With the link. Well, yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's right. You only need an hour because it's quicker with the link. Uh, have a wonderful <laughs> time with Nicole and get those comments and get those nuggets of gold coming up in the comment section. Okay. Here you go, Nicole. Over to you. Enjoy. Thanks, boys. Oh, there's so many of us. Wow. All right. Hello, wherever you are in the world. Um, and thank you for joining me. And uh, thank you for, to the boys for... Um, asking me to take uh, my good friend's um, Sarah's spot. So I hope you enjoy um, Quicker With The Link. So we did Chrome Designs, the last one. We're gonna do Quicker With The Link this time. As I said, thank you boys for such a great uh, catchphrase. I mean, I really thought I should have put it on one of my videos, Quicker With The Link, but, um, oh, look at that. I did. Volume one, two, three, character edition and have you mom start it. Terrible, shameless, shameless promotion. Using, of course, the very best balloons. Thank you, Qualitex. All right, a little bit about me, just quickly, and I suppose my um, journey with Quick Links. Uh, in 2014, I'm going to run through this really nice and quick. I was very, very lucky uh, to be a guest presenter at Florida Super Jam. Quick Links had just come on the market. I'd seen my very, very good friend, Jeffrey Hayes, do a class and I was inspired. And to me, this is what this industry is about, watching other artists whether they're um, someone who's been in the industry for a long time or a newbie or whoever, um, just being inspired by what other people are doing. I came home from that convention and my mind was, <clears throat> I couldn't wait to play with Quick Links. They weren't available in Australia at that time. We were obviously a month or so behind. So I was lucky enough to bring a couple of bags back with me and I couldn't stop playing. Let's speed up. Obviously, I brought out a few. Um, I loved the quick link idea of the quick link because just the year prior, I had designed my um, reindeer, which turned into my kangaroo. Thanks to Dustin Query at um, Florida Super Jam, I made my reindeer and I gave it a long tail. I hadn't finished it, and he said that looks like a kangadeer. And thanks to him. I modified that design into the kangaroo. And of course, I was using a five inch round for the belly. Um, and now I could use a quick link. So just straight away for that one design, I thought it's gonna be quicker with the link. Thanks boys, hashtag another dollar to you. Um, so, and of course, probably those two designs are probably two of my most popular. And um, especially the reindeer at Christmas time, 
I always feel so honoured when I see people posting and making those reindeers and making money from it. Um, just as I said, it warms my heart, and I, I love it when people tag me and um, I, I just see them. So thank you so much. Um, so we'll speed up a little bit from there. Obviously, I brought out the DVDs. Um, another thing that I love is Balloon Magic the magazine, and how this creation came about. Um, I'm constantly playing. This is what we're going to teach this morning. My leopard. Now, I was lucky enough, um, I came up with this sort of, I, well, let's backtrack a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I was looking at the magazine and when it was still in print and I saw a design by Jack Matson, and um, he'd made some sort of critter. I can't remember whether it was a hamster or something. And I was just looking at the design and he had used for the cheeks a 350 and um, a 260. And I thought, you know, I reckon we can do this in one. We can get those chubby cheeks by using a quick link, using two quick links. Now, I came up with this creation just prior to teaching at WBC in 2018. Um, sadly, I couldn't share it because my classes were already um, sorted out. Um, but I was very lucky to be asked back by Qualitex to teach at um, Twist and Shout in 2019 in Chicago. Um, and I finally said, right, now's my time to share. I've had so many people message me when I've put up these designs. It's a modular design. This is what I love about it. I have made characters from this concept. I've made animals. It is endless. Um, and of course, I've done a step up from what I taught at um, Twist and Shout, because like everything, you want to evolve and you want to involve even your own designs. Um, just to give it these extra cheeks. So um, I did have uh, a lot of outpouring after my last class, and I must admit I've just been overwhelmed by um, all the messages of support and um, just all the love that's been given, and I thank you from the bottom of um, And a lot of people have been um, asking where can they find um, other information or other things um, about what, I, what I've done and what I teach. Um, firstly, obviously, I have DVDs. Please come to Nifty Entertainment on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook or, you know, my website, Nifty Entertainment, or Instagram, Nifty underscore Entertainment, to have a look at what I do. The other thing I want to give a quick shout out to, because obviously we want to think, see things instantaneous, and... I was lucky enough to go to Wichita after Twist and Shout and spend a week in the studio. So please subscribe to Balloon Magic, the magazine. Qualitex now give it to everybody for free in their inbox. There is so much, not just my designs, but there is so much phenomenal information from so many talented artists from around the world. So get onto that, subscribe, and you can, as I said, get a lot of this these cool tutorials for free so without further ado it's quicker as with a link let's do it all right we are going to start with two quick links i'm picking golden rod for this these are the six inch ones we're going to inflate them as i said yesterday um even doesn't matter what you're inflating whether it's a round or a heart you always want to think about what you're doing with it first um, before you tie because obviously with this one um i've done that a good sort of hand width. You want to tie it nice and low because I'm going to join them together for basically the muzzle of the animal and I don't want to change the shape of my quick link. I want to keep that roundness. So we're going to tie it nice and low to the balloon. Let's inflate the other one and do it the same size. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do, save myself one knot. I'm going to tie these together nice and tight so we have that now let's go down two thirds and we're going to twist the bubble i always like to just push the air into the link and create a little bubble in between and pinch twist it. All right, we're going to do exactly, can you see that? Yep, 
I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Now, this is what I love about Quick Links. They are versatile from the nozzle to the link. And these can be manipulated in so many ways. I, uh, I said, I love the fact that with these, we can think outside the square. Um, so just remember with this design, guys, completely modular. It is endless. Once you know the concept, it's endless to what you can make. So that's what we've got at the moment. I'm going to create just a little bubble in each link. And I'm going to connect those together and just roll it through as well, just to make sure that I don't undo it at any time. So that is currently what we have. Let's grab a couple of 260s golden rods. 260s golden rods, that was plural on everything. All right, I'm going to inflate that with about a four to five finger tail. So many different ways. Um, obviously, you can twist this and you can go to the next thing. Um, I know I said it yesterday, for anybody who wasn't in my class yesterday, my philosophy on teaching is we have a destination. We have multiple roads to get to that destination. I'm not fussed which road you take. If you find a better and easier way to do something, hey, do it. As long as we get to the final destination, doesn't matter how you travel to get there. So, and if you do find an easier way to do something, can you please share it with me? Anyhow, I've just twisted off just a little bubble and I'm going to attach it into the pinch twist on the side. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to come up about four fingers, a pinch twist. I'm going to follow that with a loop twist, which is about four fingers. Another bubble, which is about three fingers. And then I'm going to mirror that. So I'm going to go three fingers. There's a reason why I put a split in the middle. You'll find out um, soon enough. So we're going to mirror it. So we've come four fingers, pinch twist, loop twist, three fingers, three fingers, pinch twist. Then our loop twist. So we've got that, guys. And then we're going to lock it in the other side with about a four finger bubble. Let's break off any remaining and make sure we've got enough there for that pinch twist. And we're going to lock that in. So. That is currently what we have. We're going to continue not to get ahead of myself. I apologise if I use some of the jokes from yesterday, but um, sometimes you just don't, don't reinvent the wheel. If it was good yesterday, it's going to be good today. Well, we hope. Let's grab another 260 golden rod. Again, about a four or five finger tail. Now we're going to go and attach, actually no, we're going to do these little extra bits of the cheeks. So we're going to do loops across. So I'm going to grab my balloon and those two little bubbles right at the back of the head, we're going to lock the knot into. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring that through. Soften. So I've brought it from the back. I've come through. So it's come through between the cheeks and the top of the head. I'm going to loop it around nice and snug to that pinch twist. And then I'm going to lock it back in the back. I'm just going to squeeze and soften as I go because I'm going to make another um, twist in this in a second. So lock that back into the two bubbles at the back. So we have that. Yep. Again, come through. And do the same on the other side. Soften, soften, soften. I've come across the cheek. And I'm going to lock it back in. All right. So we have that effect. 
Now, what I want to do is I want to come down again about two thirds from the top, one third underneath, and just twist it off. Just to give the effect that it's, you know, like the whiskers, like that side of the face. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I mean, you can do this in white if you want. Mash it up. It's really personal taste. So that's what we have. Can you see that at the moment? All right. I'm going to break off the remaining here. I'm going to try that. All right. Let's change colours. We'll jazz it up a little bit. Let's go white. So again, I've left about a four to five finger tail. It's kind of my go-to. Now, I'm going to just change this slightly because I want to get through a few designs this morning. So I'm going to change the muzzle on this next one. So here I've just um, attached my golden rod, done three bubbles and then come up through. So this time I'm going to do it white um, and we're going to attach it. So a variation on a theme, I like to call it. So. I'm going to start with a little three finger loop twist and create a second one. I apologise, hopefully I'm not going too fast today, um, but I'm slightly feeling the pressure with an hour because I'd love to get through another two quick designs just to show you some more concepts with uh, quick links. So two little loop twists and let's just do a third, all about the same size. So that's going to be our muzzle structure, our lips. I'm going to grab that from the front of my quick links. I'm going to bring it through and see where I've joined those quick links. I'm going to lock it in. Now, if you want, you can grab the nozzle from your quick link and just wrap it in just for extra support. You can add a pinch twist, lots of different things you can do. So we currently have that. Now I want to um, just make this a little bit quicker. So I'm going to do my eyes um, and the little white part in my ears all from here. I don't want to break the balloon. Um, I want to get it all out of one for a little bit of quickness. So let's measure up. So after our muzzle, we're going to measure up one of the eye structures and I'm going to lock it in at the pinch twist um, which is holding in the ear. All right, so we have that. Let's make two little bubbles that we can push through the ear. So it's about two to three fingers. Just give it a nice squeeze, just soften it. So I've made two matching bubbles and locked it back in and I'm just going to very gently if we don't want to pop we're going to push that through the ear structure I said listen here just push it through that's all you need to do all right now I'm going to squeeze 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 because we want to get across to the other ear but I don't want to pull that whole area too tight and I'm going to use another balloon to um, cover it. So I've just come across at the back. So that's the back. That's the front. And I've just locked that in to the pinch twist of the other ear. So we're going to now do exactly the same. A couple of just small two finger bubbles. and then lock into that ear. And perfect. Bring it down the other side and now lock into your muzzle area. Break off any remaining. We don't need. So, oh! And just... You may tie 
you may lock in, you may wrap round, you may do whatever you like. This is what we have. Okay, let's grab the our golden rod. Number 260. Again, I've left a you know good four finger tail, four to five finger. Now we've got this little divide between our ears. So I'm gonna grab the nozzle. I'm gonna attach this balloon into my muzzle. So we have that. It's gonna I'm gonna lay it between my eyes. Now I want to squeeze the air out when I get to that top join. I want to squeeze the air and actually push it into there. All right. Now we have these two beautiful little bubbles at the back. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to lock it in. All right. Pop up. That's all, folks. Pop off the remaining, but please save. We're going to use it. Give it a little bit of a burp. Waste not, want not, they say. All right. Just going to make sure I've tied that in. Now, so this is what we have so far, guys. All right. Lovely pinch twist on the side, just behind our little extra bit of, I'm going to attach my notch. All right. Bring it up so it's facing the ears. Now this, as I'm going to, I'm just going to squeeze and lay it. This is going to sort of cover all my little bit of workings there and all the joins. So I, I'm just merely going to bring that across top of the eye in front of the ears and lock it in on the other side. So that other pinch twist on the other side of the head, lock it in. So we have that. All right, break off any remaining. <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. So now the body. Now, you can use a 12-inch if you want. I, I use a 6-inch quick link. Um, I think it's quite cute. So we're going to inflate. Now, I've pretty well fully inflated that. I'm going to just release a little bit of air, um, and I'm going to tie this high, high to the nozzle, because um, I'm just going to push it up a little bit. This is sort of my way, um, little trick to have a just a, a nice connection point um, in to the head. So as I said yesterday, little tip and trick, if you feel like, um, you know, it's a bit tight and you want a little bit more movement, sometimes if you're lucky, if you haven't tied it too tight, the knot, you can actually roll it a little bit further just to give yourself a little bit more space. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to put it under my arm and we're going to inflate another 260 golden rod. Now, this is just going to be the arms. So, we've left again good hand width tail. Now, if you want to, you can do the hands in white. For quickness today, I'm just going to do them in yellow. I'm going to do them all in one. So, three little pinch twists for your hands. I always find it very handy. It's a good go-to hand. I always like to just straight away give my balloon a little shock twist, um, just a cheat's way so I don't have dragging arms 
um, I find if I give that little shock twist to know where the elbow is, sort of guides me on how long I'm going to make my arms because nothing worse when you see an animal and it's dragging its knuckles. But of course, you want it to drag its knuckles, but it's okay. Two little pinch twists. All right, now the fun is going to begin. I'm going to push the air up and right where I've sort of, it started to lose the, the, um, the fullness and it's thinning out a little bit, I'm just going to twist that off. I'm going to grab my little knots here, my little um, pinch twist, not knots, and I am going to lock that in. So I've got one pinch twist on the front and one on the back. Now I'm not going to do the other arm. I'm going to go down to give myself a connection point because I want to be able to attach some legs. So my little golden trick, I'm going to oh, 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 squeeze. Measure up my balloon where I'm down to the length and make two pinch twists. Now, my little trick of the trade yesterday was some people not the links. Um, I don't bother, but as I said, if it works for you, it's all good. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no wrong way to do things, whatever works for you. My trick is I hold the balloon really tight or really low down to the balloon. I don't t hold it from the tip of the link because if I attach it in like that, I'm going to get this awful looking, um, you're going to see most of the link. I want that in there nice and tight that it's just, it's not going to move. So I always grab it low to the balloon. So I'm right on the balloon and I make sure that when I'm putting it through, that literally my hands go right over the other side of the pinch twist to make sure that that is in there super, super, super tight. And as you can see, there's no gap. I'm pulling on that. There's no gap. It's not pulling. All right. Come up the other side. And lock it in. So we just have that. All right. I think the last time I made this, I did give it white hands because I've run out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just pop this off in a second and we're going to make another arm. But that's all good. It just shows it's live, baby. It's live. All right. So let's just hold on to that. Now, my little trick is, do you remember that little split that I put in the head? Yes? Everybody, you all remember that? Okay. Another reason to why I do it. Not only have I locked that balloon in to give it some flatness, it's also going to be my connection point for this knot. So at the this is the bottom of the head. I'm going to come through. I'm going to place that bubble in. All right. In my hand here, I have the knot of my six-inch six, six quick link. I'm now going to wrap it in here. And this is going to nicely hold my body into place. I mean, if you want, you can attach it in and around the ear, whatever works. All right, so I'm at the top there. And hopefully you can just see my little nozzle. Made it back to front again. We won't do the same joke I did yesterday. But I do like doing that to the kitty winklets. When you've made it back to front and you tell them you have to start again. Always a bit entertaining. I mean, for me. All right. So that's what we have. As I said, I'm going to do quicker legs because, oh, I'm already halfway through and I want to get through another one or two designs if I can. So we showed this leg structure yesterday. So you can always go back, but I mean, it's a very common leg structure. This one, I'm just going to give longer legs. So grab another 260 golden rod. 
Again, I've left about a four to five finger tail there. Just gonna give it a little bit of a stretch because I'm gonna use the remainder to add that other arm. So let's create the feet. Four finger loop. Little pinch twist. Another four finger loop. So we have that. Little bow tie for me. So of course, these bubbles down the back, they're not there just to make it look good. It's also my connection. So I'm gonna come between the 260 and the quick link. Decide what size legs I wanna give. When you're happy with it, just lock it in the other side. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna break this off. Tie it, and I'm just gonna make my second arm. He's not dangerous, he's unarmed. All right, lock that in. And you got the pinch twist from the neck. So just lock in your second arm. So we have that. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I know that's what you're all saying because obviously it's just a party for one at the moment and it's a fun party. Let's keep going quickly. Just want to do eyes and, um, and of course, um, possibly a tail. I've realised he doesn't have a tail, but we just call him Stubby. Yeah. So I grab a 160 black. Oh, that's going to reverse inflate. That's okay. So that's a good four or five fingers. Flip that into two. break off any remaining. I've got a little bit of um, movement there because obviously I've got that 260 in between the eyes. So we're just gonna get, come under one side. So we have that. With the remainder of that balloon and mine reverse inflated, but that's okay. I've got the remainder here, the top part. And I'm sure everybody knows what this design is missing. We knows, everybody knows us, nobody knows. I'm sure you knows. And if you don't know, you're certainly gonna know soon enough. Yes, you're right, it needs a nose. But I, know, I know you all knows that. All right, so I've just got a, it's about a two finger bubble. I'm just gonna come in under one of them, wrap it in. And then come come under the other um, little part of the muzzle, and we have that. Oh, he's adorable! Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's quickly make a tail. So, obviously, if you had any bits of scrap from any other bit of the balloon, just use it. Um, I'm going to fully inflate this balloon. I don't want the knot at the end since I'm using a fresh balloon. So, excuse me. Just going to deflate the rest of it. Tie it off. I'm happy with that size. Trim. Give it some shape because it's all about the shape. No worries. And sometimes just to make sure I just, you know, it doesn't, I've just wrapped it into that pinch twist. I wedge it between the two bubbles just so it sits up nicely. All right, we can add, I've put a puff of air, sorry, I did pre-inflate this, I do apologise, but I put a puff of air into this 
Um, actually, I did it yesterday. I pinched it off one of my designs. So this is a uh, gold chrome green. Um, and I've just made a loop. And just to embellish a little bit, I'm merely going to put that around my eye socket or my pupil. Without pulling it all out. And as I said yesterday, if your loop is a little bit too big, that's all right. What I do is I just wedge it underneath my bubble um, because I don't want to keep going in there and resizing because knowing my luck, I'm going to come back, resize it, and it's going to be too small. So I just, I wedge it in where people can't see it. They can't see it. And, oh, Jesus, he's a crazy cat. I'm not going to bother with the artwork, but, look, that was pretty quick. It is quicker with the link. And, as I said, there's another version with all his spots. Hopefully you can spot the difference between them. All right, we're all good with that. Thumbs up. Yep, I'll take it. I've seen some thumbs up. Let's quickly move on to the next one. These are two very quick designs. Um, so my first one is my turtle. Now I did teach um, this one, similar to this one. I have just jazzed it up just a little bit. Um, but what I like about this is how we've manipulated the quick link. And that's really what I wanna share today is that, as I said, my new catchphrase is it's versatile from the, the um, nozzle to the link. Um, and it is. So let's grab two green six inch quick links. Now again, I talked about, you always wanna think about what you're gonna do with the balloon. Now I'm gonna push air each way. And that's what I love about this design um, is that, yeah. And it said, and just the versatility of the quick link. So I'm gonna tie this high to the nozzle because of what I wanna do with it. So that's a good hand width. Let's do the second one. All right, a little bit more air. Sorry about that. It was nice, a bit quicker. All right, so I've tied them both high because what I want to do is I want to push the air there and I want to push the air the other way. <gasps> Are we ready? All right, grab that in the palm of your hands and just nicely squeeze it up. Again, where it is, starts to lose its roundness, I'm going to twist off a bubble. That's about three fingers. I'm going to put that between my hand or my fingers and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Once you've done it to both, we're going to straight away lock them in. All right. And again, I've just done that trick of rolling the nozzle down a little bit just to give myself a bit of space. This is going to be the back end of the tail, so the back legs. Now, the fun. We're going to go, if we go from about here, we're going to go about two thirds up. And again, I'm going to start with one. I'm going to twist off a bubble. Again, that's about three fingers. And I'm going to squeeze it. I like to straight away do this. Just pull, push the air into the length. I'm going to put that between my fingers. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Right, hopefully we get those both the same size. So I have both of them. Again, let's twist them together. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Yeah. All right, we have that. Hello. So this is going to obviously just make sure you twist these a couple of times because we don't want them to unravel, um, but we are going to lock them in in a second. So this is going to be the front flippers of my turtle. Let's grab a 260 slime green. We're not going to use a lot of this, so I've left a good five, six finger tail. But as I said, we're not going to use a lot at all. So I'm going to start with a good four to five finger loop. Always roll your knots through. 
because then with with movement it doesn't come undone doesn't unravel soften i'm um, gonna make now two sort of two to three finger bubbles and i'm gonna fold them back on it themselves so i have that now we're gonna bring this these two bubbles here and we're gonna gently push them in push them into my turtle's head um, but then push the loop up just so you don't want it to completely go through I don't want it to have to go completely like that you can I like it where there's still some air coming underneath but not not a lot all right so this is where we're going to lock it in so this is the front part grab it I've just locked it into the join of where I joined my two two links now for safety and for another connection point and to also make sure my turtle's head stays up um, I'm going to add just a little pinch twist underneath now with this balloon because we don't need any more green is done I'm going to break it a little bit further up because what I want to do is and now I want to go down the body where I've got my joins I want to loop it in just to make sure that my quick links don't come apart because I haven't secured them I've just tied them a little bit of movement they can come undone so deflate that and where we have the joins I'm going to come in wrap it in a couple of times around my tail and back again back to the front this means this little baby isn't going anywhere all right so we have currently that so that's the bottom of the tail of tail turtle and that's the top end all right it is quicker with the link so we're going to use another one this is a mocha brown six inch or mocha however we like to pronounce it mocha mocha i say tomato you say tomato hey let's call the whole thing off so this is going to be our shell all right so we're going to nicely link this in again it's a good hand width we're not going to manipulate this one so i'm tying it low to the balloon because I want to make sure I have um, I have that roundness. So where your two back flippers are, where you've split it from the main part of the uh, the quick link, you're going to tie that in and around. I mean, this is another way to um, obviously secure everything. And with your link, you're going to push it nicely down, and you're going to attach that around the pinch twist. So that is what you have. Let's grab, we're nearly there. Let's grab a 160 mocha brown or mocha brown. All right. So sometimes the balloons do this. I don't need the whole balloon. I've left it again, five, six fingers uninflated, but I've had a reverse inflate. So this happens a lot of times when you're out on the job simple i don't chuck the balloon away because it's done this my way is i go right i've got my area there for the air to move so what am i going to do i'm going to break it off here let some air out and powder out and i'm going to tie it i'm going to twist from this side so you know that might be something that you go we all know but for some of you it might be a aha what didn't i think of that little golden nugget hopefully so that's what i love about when you watch anybody it's um just that one tip or trick is worth its weight in gold you know whether it be listening to an instructor or going to a convention um i have this the same philosophy if i pick up one thing that's worth every single cent because if that makes life for me easier or i pick up something that i go wow i can put that into what i do that's gold gold so what we're going to do is we just want to get rid of the workings 
So I don't want people to see where I've joined. Plus, this gives just another little um, area for and body to the to the shell. So we're just going to firmly, snugly, snugly, firmly, just wrap this around the, the um, mocha brown quick link. Come back to the head and again, just lock it in and around that pinch twist. Break off any remaining, tie, twist in, it doesn't matter. So I hope you are liking our turtle. It's totally gnarly, dude. Okay, let's just do some eyes and we're good to go for the next design. So just a, a five inch white. Uh, that's about a ping pong ball. I'm gonna split it into two. And I'm just going to push it through and it's going to sit on top of those other bubbles. I'm going to grab just a 160 black. No, nope, that's the one that had a bit of a hole in it. They were conjoined. My 160s were conjoined. See, even my balloons love themselves. See, they just were happy to... Well, I parted them, I'm afraid. So just a two, three finger bubble. All right, split that into two even bubbles, tie, twist them off and place it in front of the five inch white. And that will give us our pupils. Obviously, if you're doing this in line work, um, you can just draw the pupils on. And there you go. So on this one, I just added my little freckles and a little bit of pattern on the shell. I'm not going to worry about decorating this because I want to get to the third design. So gnarly. Too cool, all right. We're heading back to the sea, man. <laughs> Gotta go. All right. Lucky last. We talked about this yesterday. This was my webinar, which um, I froze in. Um, good times. And I did have that fear yesterday because I'm standing here and I feel like I'm talking to myself, um, which is not unusual for me. I talk to myself quite a bit. Um, I don't always get the right response from myself, but, um, you know, I talk to myself. Um, I talked about this one and I know I have put it on a DVD and I know I have taught it, but um, again, to me, it's just a classic. It takes four balloons. Um, so let's get started. And it's another way to show you how to manipulate your quick link. So as I said, I hope I have well and truly inspired um, because this is what I want to do. I just want people to play with quick links and just think about the endless possibilities of what they can do. And, you know, for a twist to make sure you know, this is a, as important as a round or a heart in your kit um, that you have these as well. So, um, and you have designs that you can use. So, without further uh, ado, we will continue. So, again, about a good hand width. Now, I want to put the air into the link. Whoop, it's like a ping pong. So, I've tied it nice and low because I want to keep the shape of the body. Now, before I manipulate this, I am going to inflate my five inch round. Now I do apologize if without thinking I have mouth inflated some of these balloons. I must admit, I don't inf inflate my long balloons, my 260s or my 160s because, well, seriously, no one wants to see the balloon lady fall over. Um, yes, but I do. do for quickness, I must admit. I, <laughs> I do, I don't know, that was Keith in my ear. That was me, um, sorry. Love your work. <laughs> Oh, it's Dom. Hi, just saying the is chat Dom? is going crazy. Yes, it is. Chat's going crazy for you. You're not on your own. They are loving your work. Oh, Keep it up. Enjoy. Thank you. I haven't frozen. I haven't no, frozen. You're All still right. with us. We're out, still out with you. Out of my head. Out of my head. Out of my head. I'm going to make you. this design. <laughs> uh, love you guys. Love you. Uh, um, so I do apologise if I have, without thinking, mouth inflated. I've tried to do everything on my pump, but I must admit I do um, for quickness. So again, we want to split this in half. So it's about the size of a ping pong ball. Um, I've tied it low. Now I'm going to straight away twist this, split it into two. 
So I grab it where the nozzle is and I guide it with my hand to make sure that the air, um, I can sort of juggle the air between the balloons or between the bubbles before I twist it off. Um, and then I wrap the knot around. So I'm gonna just put that under here for a second because this is where you need a couple of hands. Now again, we're gonna do that same trick. I'm gonna go two third, one third. So one third towards my link. And as you can see, because I've tied that nice and low, I've still got the roundness of my body. So I said, oh, I can't stress enough, always think five inch, six inch quick link, um, heart, always think what you're going to do with it, whether you're going to do a frontal twist or merit, you know, think about what you're going to do before you tie it. Just saves a lot of heartache and things going pop. Um, but again, it's the nature of our business. So I have the split on my quick link and you notice I always automatically pull, push the air into my link. I'm going to grab the join of my eyes and lock that in like that. So as you can see, we've got an elephant. I mean, it's what I love. You watch one design and you can see multiple designs from it. So nice and quick, two more balloons. Oh, an hour, I've done well. It's what we call the power hour. Power. All right, uh, 260 uh, Caribbean blue or Caribbean blue, depending on where you're from. We're going to inflate. Oh, I'm going to leave about a four finger tail. Are you boys talking to me? No, they're just in my head again. No, he's talking to Sam, but he's really talking to me. Oh, well, no, I'm all right. Get out of my ear. I am going to, sorry, I've got the boys in my ear at the moment talking to someone else. I am going to attach between the eyes. So that Caribbean or Caribbean Blue 160 is coming through from the structure, the eye structure. I'm going to make three one to two finger bubbles. One, two, three. And I'm going to lock it back in between the eyes. So we have that. Now, I don't want to go the top of the eyes. I want to come through basically the centre of the eyes on an angle. So I'm going to... Lay the 160 across the eyes on an angle and I'm going to squeeze. So as you can see, hopefully, I've got some behind there. This is the front. I want the balloon on an angle. So come in up and around. Yep, I can hear you boys too. Powerful. I don't often get called that. That's nice. All right, let's do the same on the other side. Loving the conversation the boys are having in my ear at the moment. All right, so this is what we have. All right, let me come in and around. And we're just going to push that through. All right, that's what we have. Now I'm going to come through. Cross. I'm going to measure my balloon up to where my knot is. And I'm going to create two inch twists. We're doing well with that tail. Now again, for the trade, I have the knot in my hand. I'm going to make sure that knot goes right around both pinch twist because again I don't want I don't want any gap once you've done that guys come back up and around underneath the head and back down the other side so we should have three bubbles down the back I'm going to give my tail a little bit of shape All right, so that's what we have. All right, last balloon. We're on the home straight. All right, 
lucky last balloon, your torture is over. We are nearly done. Um, that's really uninflated. This is the only time of the design that you can actually wing it because that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the wings. So four finger, one finger, two finger, two finger, one finger, and match that. And again, roll it through. I'm going to pinch twist that one and that one, or I'm going to pinch twist that one and that one. I'm going to go from this side. All right, we have that lovely split. I'm going to lie the balloon nicely on that split, not too firm that I'm pushing it down, but so it sits nicely. I'm going to bring the tail through and lock it in to where I first started. So everybody can see that. All right. Now you have three bubbles here. So you're going to leave a bubble. You're going to come in from one side and you're going to basically come in and under that middle bubble. All right, everybody can see that. So I've got a bubble on each side to basically keep my wings up, and that middle one is holding the wings in place. Repeat. We're going to make that wing again. So four finger, one finger, two finger, two finger, one finger. Match the bubble. Now, a little bit harder here because you've just got to come in and under and twist it round so you can see that I'm nice in and close to that middle bubble. Again, pinch the two one finger bubbles and loop. And again, where you've twisted that wing in the first place from just coming underneath, that's where you're going to put in the remainder of the balloon. So you can see I'm tw just twisting in that nice and close to the middle and pop. Tie, twist, lock. Won't worry about the artwork. Oh, no, I didn't do it last night. I will worry about the artwork. It's nothing major. So the beautiful thing is attach it to a flower, put it on a headband, put it on a bouquet, put it wherever you want. And I don't really do anything mind shattering. And sadly, I didn't bring a white marker out, but a couple of eyes because you know what? No cruelty to balloon animals. They all want to see, want to see where they're going and they just don't want to bump into stuff. But anyhow, another story. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed Quicker with the Link. I have thoroughly enjoyed being in your living room and thoroughly enjoyed you, in be, you being in my house um, and in my um, dining room area. So thank you. Back to you boys. I think I'm pretty well on time. Have I? Have I? Have I? Nailed it? Because it's quicker with a link? No? Is, is anybody there? Hello? Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No? Nobody's there? No? Hello? No? Yes, yes, no? yes, yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. We're we... just ignoring you. There's a difference. <laughs> totally different. Yeah. Are you there? Oh yeah, yes, we're there. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we um. We, There's was multiple a people waiting. Yeah, we we could hear you. We were just choosing to ignore you. I There's know. a big difference. Can, you were having a really good interaction with the audience, Sam. so we just you could you could hear us talking to Sam. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Sam could hear. I could. You, yeah, Sam was saying that you were being really and, loud. Well, he did say, "I I no, hey hey hey, don't you lie." He said. Nicole has a powerful voice. Yes, yeah, she powerful said, I'm getting, the word. She said, I'm getting a lot of loud. Nicole in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody needs a little nifty to their day. That's all I can say. <laughs> is that what it is? Everybody begins? needs a little nifty. <laughs> hey, it's certainly if you need a like, little nifty, just call me. <laughs> that's it. it. certainly looked like you enjoyed that once again. The Nicole. chat messages definitely oh. enjoyed that. What was the... Uh, um, love the some... turtle. Great tips and ideas. Uh, super cute. Twisting, twisting. Question. Question. Okay. And even from Qualitex balloons themselves, Nicole has the best jokes and puns. I don't... I disagree with that. 
Uh, question <laughs> on the turtle: Which end is turned into the front flippers? The link. The link. There you go. That answers that the link. one. Hold a second. Oh, there he is. Sorry, as you can see, because it tapers. That's right. the link. Uh, okay. Sorry, you got that's that the one. front. Fantastic. Uh, you rock, Nicole. You indeed rock. Thank you. And yep. uh, so a couple roll. of people say they got lost. Don't forget, it's here on the channel. Once it's processed, you'll be able to go back and watch it again and even put it in slow motion to hear Nicole going, Or quicker with the link. It's slower with slow mo. <laughs> the, Nicole, yes, somebody's I... asking as well, is um, your Instagram. So uh, when you finish on here, if you want if you want to share your Instagram, you can always drop onto the chat and um, post your Instagram link if you like. Too easy. It's really easy. Nifty underscore entertainment. But yes, I'll jump on uh, the chat after this. Um, thank Nifty. you so much. I do apologise if that was a little bit faster today, um, but I wanted to get through everything. So, totally but get yeah, that. It's, rewind. Well, it's automatic though, isn't it? Rewind. You, you naturally, rewind. you naturally go quicker with the link. See, it works. You it's, do. You oh, should totally that use that. Phrase is so good. Uh, well, and actually, while I've got everybody. Just quickly, um, I also have a Facebook page, which um, for some reason, I must have known these boys were going to come up with that catchphrase for me. And I actually named it about five, six years ago, Quicker with the Link. So yeah, if you want to join that page. At least you, had, at least you were page, forward thinking. At least exactly. you were forward oh, thinking. Well, and, and she I'll met us you. about about seven years ago. That's right. So yeah, that's when we first uh, met you yeah. seven ago, yeah, years ago. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In your dreams, in your we've dreams, got, We've got photographs to prove it. It's got a picture of us, you, and it says 2,000 and whatever it is there. Oh. No, three. 2003. Yeah, 2013. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. It's been a we long a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. I'm See? These boys are delirious. And, and there was no such thing as quicklings back then either. So that's besides the point. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Hashtag, good point. Good point. Uh, quicker with the link. <laughs> I, I still think that's the water of vampires. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't before. know if that's going to stick, Jackie. I don't know. I'm not yeah. sure about that. Yeah. We're not going to go to bed, Melissa. We're not going to go to bed. We're staying <laughs> up all the way through this. We're about... He says um, three minutes later. Thunk. <laughs> We're about uh, halfway through the show. Um, well, we're actually not quite because the next one's segment 42 and then there's 100 segments, right? So we've got a few more to get halfway. So one more segment. Just, Just one more one segment. more segment. Nicole, you rock. Thank you very much for coming back. Really appreciate that. And I'm sure we'll see you soon. No. Thank you so much. I had an absolute blast. Thanks for watching work. and Loving your work, up. Nicole. Awesome. Oh, love, 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 love. Bye for now. Bye, boys. Bye-bye. See you, guys. Please, guys, show a lot of love in the chat. Thank you very much. Oh.